my name is Dumisan Matlango, and I am the founder and managing director of Chepa Streetwear. So, okay, the name Chepa is from slang terminology. It basically means stylish. It's from Mamelodi. Um, that's where I grew up. Um, it started back in 2017. And um, it's basically inspired by the lack of modern contemporary African print wear, which back then I identified, although there were brands that were, were you know, kind of servicing that, um, that need, I, I just couldn't access them from a personal perspective. So I um, started creating pieces um, and people liked them and then we grew from there. Um, I'm from a corporate background, so um, I, was, I was in insurance at that time. And um, fortunately, I don't know whether it's fortunate or, or what, but um, I do have a creative side. And I just decided to express that creativity, you know, and that creative side through clothing, through print. And I just started to explore more, you know, about, uh, about fashion, you know, and how it makes people feel. Um, I don't, I'm, I've never regarded myself as a designer. I put garments together, which I like, or who, that fit well on the body and that, that look good on the body. And I try and select prints that are not very common, you know? So yeah, back then, that's basically what was happening. So we cater for everyone. We cater for a lot of, there's, there's no specific race that buys our stuff. Um, we cater to people between the ages of 24 to 45. It's basically some, someone who is, who appreciates print and color and who wants to express himself through uh, print and color and who loves being unique, you know, um, who, who likes to stand out. We also cater for people who don't really like to stand out, um, but would select colors that are very timid and quiet, you know, but have nice um, patterns on them. Most of our customers are South Africans. Um, as, as you know, South Africans. So, but we also service a lot of tourists. Um, we also do so service people outside of the country who are warming up to print. My proudest moments, um, I would say, um, starting, starting having our own production facility um, where we, we don't rely on a third party to manufacture our product because that compromises quality and we're very big on quality. Um, moving to a 240 square meter property where we're able to have our store, have our offices, have our production um, facility. Proudest moment was also winning the 2022 Entrepreneur Award um, last year. Every day, I think it's, it's a day to be proud of when people come buy the product and are happy and go home and give you raving reviews. So I think I'm, a, I'm especially proud about that. I mean, that, that keeps us going, the feedback we get from our customers. I think that's very important. They can expect to be blown away because people who come here don't know what to take and what to leave. Uh, we find there's a lot of people who, who love our stuff and they want to take the entire store. And that's very great for us because we, we create long lasting relationships with our customers. So a customer buys one item and because they love what they've bought, they come and buy again and buy again and buy again. So we retain our customers. Um, and they can expect warm, friendly customer service. They can expect a variety of unique prints and good quality products. Chepa Streetwear on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn and our website is chepa.co.za. I give a fair to now you know what to wear, you know where to find Chepa Streetwear. With that being said, let's go to the streets. We got to see 
and be at the right events. Of course, you know how we do this. It's all about lifestyle, entertainment, and of course, the culture. Asambe sebo nukutu kwenza galani with the events. Tango! So we are here today celebrating my brand new partnership with Factory, which I'm very, very excited about. Kind of been doing a little social media here and there with the team, but it's the first time they were ever doing a big in-store campaign. And they chose me to be the face, so I'm very excited. I think I have a very unique interpretation of everything that I wear. I think it's not often that you can go to the mall and find something to wear, which is what I love about Factory. But even if I do walk into Factory, I'm gonna like style it up and wear it in my own way. And that's exactly what their customers are like. They're very creative, they're very ambitious, they have their own unique spin on how they do things, how they see things. But I'm like the ultimate style goal of all of that. So I think that's what it is, like my unique interpretation of the brand. I think it's very important to just start with where you're at. I think even people who feel like, oh, I don't have style. That's actually your style. Having no style is actually your style. So you first of all just have to own it. Whatever it is, own it, believe it, love it. Listen, it's in store right now so you guys can get it at factory stores nationwide. I think it's also in Botswana, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, so go out there and do your thing, guys. Mpumalanga, the land of the rising sun, shone brightly at the all-white music festival. With performances from superstars Uncle Waffles, Boiti, Questa and Mlinda the vocalist, the Bears Palace Arena in Carolina was ablaze with pride in South African music. The glamorous Somizi and Mamkiza also graced the arena, giving it that extra zing. The All White Music Festival, premium lifestyle, entertainment and culture. And